as a recap, I want to remind you, or if you're just coming across this video, we're doing a series on self-development. It's been, where are two videos in now. And at the end of this, you would have developed confidence to enable you to be grown up to really take control of your life and face life because you need to take control of your life and start doing something today because no one is coming to save you. No one is coming to save me. No one is coming to save you. No one is coming to save us. Not even God is coming to save you because you've been crying about things for five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 20 years, 25, even more. But you need to know that a lot of power lies in your hands, but you just didn't realize it. And if you haven't watched the first two videos in this series, please do so. I'm going to leave the links in the bottom of the, in the description box under this video. Make sure that you see the first two videos and then continue on on this series. This is just a recap. The next conversation is going to be how to get out of the wilderness if you feel like you're stuck in the wilderness. We've already given you the fundamentals. I've already given you the fundamentals in the first two videos. To go on, remember, you're going to throw away pride, shame, fear and also adjust your belief system and the way that you're looking at god the way that you believe in god if you're looking at god as one who is coming or an entity that's coming to save you the news for you is that god has already done everything as you will find if you've watched the first and second videos i explain to you how so you decide you actually decide a lot of things but you haven't been conscious of that maybe because of your experiences or lack of experiences. So watch the second video and understand how you use all the strengths that our father has given to you, starting from the first video. So use your understanding of it in and the second video to create the changes in your life moving forward. From that last video, you will see that you get what you accept. You determine what you don't want and that you will not accept that. Don't be convenient because anybody will take anything that's convenient. And I think that's the only sentence that I need to tell you to show you that it makes no sense. Sometimes you think to yourself, oh, they might change their minds, but it won't happen when you're convenient because then there is no need for them to change. So everything that you do comes from something in your mind. Even when you think that it's not for a reason, even when you're thinking that you're not doing it for any reason, there is always something in your mind that causes you to reject or accept something. The same thing for all of us. So we need to get into the habit of asking ourselves, what is the reason why I'm taking the stance regarding this situation? If a situation is not favorable to you, you need to ask yourself the reason why you have accepted it. And when you do, that reason is what you are supposed to be working on because that is what is pointing you to an area of yourself that you need to work on and to develop. So let's go now and find out how to get ourselves out of the wilderness when we're feeling like we're in the wilderness. Remember to like this video share it and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so see you on your way out of the wilderness in the next video